Okay, this is the Lawnmower Man, Northwest Arkansas. I had a couple people ask me about what this radio would do RMS, and I've got another radio. I'm also going to show that too. This is the Striker 497 HPC. It has six MOSFETs in it, two driving four. Uh, we're going to be looking at it on this meter right here, the CN801 HP. Uh, first, we're going to be looking at RMS and we've got it on the 20 watt scale there okay and we're going to turn power all the way to zero or one down all the way you can see there again all right let's see one and a half watts right there all right this is rms watts Hello. One and a half with a stock microphone. Now we're going to flip up to the 200 watt scale. There's 200. Hello. Audio one, two. Hello. Audio. You can see there she's uh, hitting 30. RMS. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to switch it to average, which they call PEP on this, but I call it average, and the average is RMS. Alright, we're going to keep it on the 200 watt scale. Well, first I'll show you the dead key. One and a half watts, you can see it there in the mirror. Alright, now we're going to flip it there. Hello. Audio. Test one. That's what the radio's still down on a one and a half watt dead key. Hello, come in. Okay, we're on dummy load. Now, I'm going to turn on the active reading part of it, switch here in the back. Okay, now, we're running true peak watts. Hello, one, two, three, audio check. Hello, we're almost right at 110 watts. Well, that's not bad from a watt and a half. One, two, three, test, test, test. And you can see the audio. Audio there is pretty good. There's a signal on the spectrum analyzer. There on the scope, you can see the audio. One, two, three, test, test, test. Okay. Now we're going to flip her up all the way. And you're going to notice on peak it's going to drop. I'm going to leave the meter right where it's at. Let me flip this switch so I can get the needle to go back down. There's 25 watts. One, two, three. And just talking, it's doing 100. A little over 100. Test. One, two, three. Ah, you know, about 105. So, uh, that's what this radio here does. About 105. Needle's a little shaky. It kind of jumps up there a little high, but uh, pretty much as far as dead key goes, it reads right. Because we're going to move this thing down to about, let's see if we can get 10 watts on the scale. I'll show you how close this thing is. Alright, we're going to get up here, turn 10. You can see her right there. She's on 10. We'll turn it down to 5. Get this meter here where I can read it. 5. Right there, she's right on the 5. And we turn her all the way up to 25. There's 20. Let's see. The key up here. Get 20 on the scale. Uh -huh. There's that little tick mark where the 20 is. If I turn to the side, you can see it. It's straight in front of it. Covers it. And we'll turn it up to 25. Exactly halfway between. There, that's where they suggest the high power be set. And of course, it slams that scale. Go 200 watt. Right on 25. 
So, here it is. Striker 497 HPC. Big tune, ready to go. This late at night, there ain't nobody on the air down here in northwest Arkansas, so... Uh, we can't get make any contacts to let you know it's down. Let's see here, let's go through the colors. There's red. There's green. There's a different color of green. There's blue, or ice blue. There is, I believe it's a purple. Oh, there's a purple. And back to that. Oh, well, there's all the colors, and you press hold that in for about 10 seconds. And it'll sit there and fade from one color to the next on its own. You want to stop it on any particular color, you just tap it. If you want to dim it, you hold it just for a second and it dims. Yep, change to the next color. If you dim it down too far, it switch on you. Anyways. Let's see if I can show you the dimming on one of these colors or it shows a little better. Maybe a little bit. There you go. Now you can see how it's dimmed. Anyways, once you get the dim level set, you can change colors without changing the dim level. That pretty darn good radio. Alright, we'll catch you later. Be the lawnmower man, Northwest Arkansas. Bye bye bye.